police track. I'm Dominique. Hi, Dominique. Megan's vertically challenged sister. Vertically what? I'm four inches shorter than everyone else. Until I catch up. I'm Gerard Hersley. Uh, may I get out now? Oh. problems finding this place no your map was excellent oh yeah mm -hmm. good um try these yeah um dinner will be ready in 10 minutes okay just excuse me for a second thank you come on careful they're spicy please make yourself at home don't be nice mm. these are great of course they are megan's brilliant our mother taught her how to cook. I, however, have other attributes and talents. I just haven't figured out what they are yet. Your mother? Yes. Will she be uh, here for dinner? Oh, no. No. She's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, she's not. She's just not actually here. Not now, not in the moment. Bogus. Liar. Dominique, mom is dead, and that's how she'll stay as long as you're in this house, OK? Do you understand? Yes. Good. Don't listen to her. So, and baby, that's the way I like it. And I really, really, really love your French accent. Thank you. So you get all these feelings from pieces of wood glued together with vibrating strings stretched across it. And those vibrations, they travel down through your chest and into your belly. And everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Why don't you guess? <laughs> and what happens when they get there? Yeah, you can tell us. We won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. It's time. Let's do it, Huxley. You. You're still here. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> Dom? Yes? Are you okay? Oh, fine. Listen, come over here. I've got a great idea. Okay. Gerard's heading out to Seattle. Why don't we go with him for a while? We need a break from all this. We could show him our special place. Gerard? Oh, sure, sure. I'd love the company. Big sister. <laughs> Have you ever considered the concept of restraint? Or consideration? Or even good taste? Or is that little brain between your legs working overtime again? What's with you? Our father's not even cold yet. And moments later, you're fucking Huxley's brains out in our house. What's with me? What's with you? Oh, correction. Pardon me. There's something in me. You're disgusting! Oh, come on, stop! <sighs> that was quite a performance you put on last night. Shut up! Stop. That's a very nice spot on you, Huxley. How many times a week do you work out? You watched us? I have to warn you. She likes to be on top, but I think you've already noticed that. Oh, little bitch! Never! Never! Not ever! Get to be on top. Ever again. Sister, you'll never know what it's like. They say it's overcompensation caused by. Mom, I'll throw you out of this house. Megan. Oh, Megan. I need it. Megan. You're dead. Insecurity. Megan. That's it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. But stop it right now, please. <laughs> Why'd you have to hit me so hard? Sorry, you moved. Did you plan this? No. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> making me sick. If I have to hear any more of this mushball poetry, I'm gonna vomit all over Huxley. I'm so glad you're awake, honey. He didn't cry for the moon. Saccharine shit. Are you always such a sour bitch when you first wake up? Oh, sure. Get us alone on a desolate highway and your real colors show through. Eat me, Huxley. Don. Go back to sleep. You'd like that. Tears. So you sing la da 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 da, and you dance la da 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 da. Maggie, I have a question. Yes. Why does your sister wear a wig? Because she's been pulling her hair out. So dance. You all know each other? Um, Gerard's in summer vacation. We're taking a vacation. Great. How's it going so far? Boring. Boring. Fine. Really? Okay, guys, we have to go now. I'm oh, sorry. No, no. 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 Anybody needs to warm up, there's a big old fashioned bathtub, which I heartily recommend because they don't make tubs like that anymore. How big is the bathtub? Big enough for about three of you and still get the dog in. She looked pretty. I've died and gone to heaven. That's how beautiful you are. Do you think that I have nice hair? Oh, yes. Oh, this is the most beautiful hair I have ever seen. Ever. It's so much prettier than your sister's. Perfect life. <clears throat> With respect, but without any vestige of truth. Rotting in a swamp of deceit. Stained with my own semen. Now, put the gun down. Please, put it down. Have you got it yet? 
I'm here because I can't see people, can't be around them. They make me sick. It's always there. Dumb. Always. Have you ever felt it? What are you doing? Heat, blood rush. They can't stop yet. Shut up, please. Don't shut up. Move away from the gun. Move. From integrity to this. No distance at all. The first time, first dozen times, you still have a chance, maybe. He was a judge. We have to call the police. Don, he did it to himself, didn't he? Please, give me the gun. Dominic, please, give me the gun. I'll just put it down. It's right here. Remember when Daddy used to stand outside the bathroom door, watching you, waiting for the nerve to go in. And I would press my eye to the keyhole, and I would see him unbuckling his pants, and telling you to get on your hands and knees, and say, I love you so much. I know. I know. What we do, we were just children. No, we should have done it years sooner. Give me that gun, Megan. We only killed half a monster. Kill. We took turns giving him the pills. I give him some. And then she gives him some. And then I take the last handful. And I walk over to him. And I lean over. And I whisper in his ear. 